just to start things off, most of my friends do not think that Billy Talent is from Mississauga. Can you please tell them that you're from Mississauga? They don't, they don't realize <laughs> that something this cool has come out from Mississauga. Can you please just tell them, look in the camera and just tell them. <laughs> We're all from Mississauga. Yes, it's true. It's so true. Meadowville, Meadowville and Streetsville represent. Yep. I got to ask, do you guys still hang out in Mississauga? I'll go there to see my parents because my folks still live in Mississauga. So. Yeah. Well, I've spent time here just because I've recorded at Metalworks a lot. Yeah. Um, and I know Billy Talent's from Mississauga, so we have like a little bit of rivalry oh, going. So, well, with the you know Ajax saga thing, um, no, it's all right. It's <laughs> Where, do you have a favorite eating spot in Mississauga? There used to be places that we'd go to all the time, like the Cock and Pheasant, yeah. Sundance Saloon. I don't even know if these places are around still. They're still around. Is it really yeah. Sundance Saloon still oh, no, around? No, Cock and Pheasant. Cock and Pheasant yeah. for sure. Saucies and street stuff. Saucies. Store. Yeah. Nice. Um, where Where do you live now? Downtown. Downtown. Toronto. Yep. Okay. How fast did you move out of Ajax? As soon as I could. That Ajax was actually really, really boring. I don't know what Mississauga is like to grow up in, but since I've gone, it's, there's like 120,000 people there now. Yeah. When I grew up, there was a half, so there was literally nothing to do. So like I was saying to you about fair before, yeah. like, as soon as I had $10, <laughs> I was going down the, you know, the 401 as fast as I could to downtown Toronto. Nice. Yeah. Where, did you, where did you guys perform prior to actually you know, getting huge like in Mississauga? The only real venue in Mississauga was uh, a place called Stardust Billiards, and that was at Cawthorn Lakeshore. And okay. we, we put on a lot of shows there. And uh, because there was no other place in Meadowville or Streetsville to play, which was where we're from, yeah. we decided to just take it upon ourselves and rent out Basement Hall and it ended up turning into a real venue years later. Like, oh, if you look in Now Magazine, it says Masonic Lodge, but we were actually the first, first band to book it out in, uh, in 1993 or four. And, we, the whole, the, what was the story? We built a stage out of milk crates. We stole milk crates. We borrowed uh, over 300 milk crates one time from various groceries yeah, around and, Mississauga. And then, uh, and, and, and Aaron, Aaron's got a pickup truck from his dad that, that we collect these at night. And then we, uh, we shouldn't be saying this. What if we get charged? Oh, come or something? on, it's 20 years. We use it anyways. We, we stacked them double high and then duct taped them all around, and, and it actually actually worked as a stage. It was great. That's awesome. And uh, then after it was done, we returned them all to we returned them all to the. No, we didn't. Yeah, a, we did. An auto body shop inherited like 200 <laughs> milk crates because we, we just tried to return them all. We tried to, but it was too many. Them all. Well, thanks so much for uh, doing this interview, guys. Cool. Thanks. Nice meeting you. Thank cool. You. Thank you.